Ken Sears here, and a Friday shave. It's uh, been a good week off, and this is the end of my second, uh, yeah, second week off of work. So, oh man, getting close to going back. I got to go back next week, probably midweek, but uh, you know, I'm going to take advantage of the last weekend off. And I get to go out to a nice uh, New Year's Eve party on New Year's Eve. So uh, in advance, if I don't do another video until the new year, I want to say a uh, happy new year to everybody. Hope you have a, a prosperous and healthy new year. I hope uh, if you knew, even if you had a great year in 17, I hope 18 is just as good or better. Auto expose. There we go. All right. Um, I was going through some of my uh, requests, uh, what people were asking for, and a uh, few, few times, it's been seven months since I've used this razor, but someone asked if I could take a trip back to 1977 and do one more shave with a vintage Gillette Atra cartridge razor. So, wow. 40 years old, 77, 87, 97, 40 years ago. This is a, uh, what is she? She is a 4X. So fourth quarter of 1977, this Atra came out. And it's been 40 years. And it's still nice to find them in the uh, original boxes. Man, I, I gotta hand it to you, Gillette. Your products hold the test of time, that is for sure. So I'm gonna be using uh, that razor today, and I'm gonna be using some Nivea Men's Shaving Cream. I'm gonna do a uh, face lather with that. I've got the Samoog Bore Brush soaking inside the uh, crystal skull right here, getting ready to go. The post shave, I'm gonna do some uh, Again, some Nivea, sensitive skin. So uh, we'll end that with that. But you know that, uh, whoops, that doesn't really finish the job for me. So I'm gonna go with some, uh, oh man, old school. Look at that, almost, can you see almost gone? Uh, I don't know if you can see that in there. But uh, use that a lot. Good stuff, man, that polo, good stuff. So let me, uh, Quick pause, and I'm gonna get this started. My voice is almost 100%. Still a little nasally, but uh, nothing that I can uh, complain about. I was gonna use some lemon chill sterling soap today because it's it's like 73 degrees today in uh, Huntington Beach, and uh, uh, send some rain. All right, everybody who's got that rain, send a little extra our way. Uh, we sure could use it. All right, let me wet my face. I was <laughs> pretty jazzed. I got my scale fixed, stupid scale, it's on and off, but uh, you know, I had been 223 pounds and I've been slowly losing weight over the last few years. And I go to see my doctor about every three to six months and he's been telling me, you know, you gotta get down to 205, you gotta get down to 205. I hit 206 today. So even with being off for two weeks, eating like a pig, just, just <laughs> enjoying the holidays, uh, things have been good. All right, so let me put a little of this uh, soap in there. And we'll get this started. Probably should have rang the brush out a little more. But man, the Nivea. Sure is easy to use. These tube soaps sure are easy to use. Nice wet lather. Man, I've had a lot of boring time on my hands. I've been mean, staying up till midnight, watching all those action movies, Die Hard 1, 2, 3, Lethal Weapon 1, 2, 3, Game of Thrones, catching up on the, um, to the last episode of the final season. And that's a bummer for you people who watch uh, well, I don't want to give it away, but uh, let's just say I wasn't happy with what happened to one of the dragons. The show's pretty cool, though. Oh, there we go. Now, this is a modern replacement blade for the Atra. There are 
about six 40-year-old blades still in that container. But uh, they look unused. But, you know, you can sanitize a razor. You can pretty much sanitize a brush. But I wouldn't be trying to sanitize a 40-year-old razor blade and use it. You just never know. The fact that uh, Viking is the Chieftain. I have everything out. The Vikings Blade Chieftain uh, Razor. Uh, I had that in the Barbasol and it's now in the dishwasher. So that will be one of the next razors and next shaves I do. Uh, I wanted a uh, friend of mine in England had asked if I would try it out because he was having no luck with it. So I said I would see what I could do. All right. Chance of Rain Wednesday. When I was listening or reading some of your comments, like below zero, wind chill factor, snow, oh my goodness. But I bet you have no drought. And I bet you have no fires. So there's something to be said about that. Now I shave a little different with a cartridge razor when I do use them for a fast shave. When I do with a DE, I take shorter strokes and I kind of hit them twice. And with the two blades on this one, it pretty much does it all. It's like two passes in the same direction. You can still cut yourself though. And there's never a necessity for, a, really, with a cartridge razor, a second pass, but. I kind of got into a habit of doing it. It really makes that aftershave burn a lot more. I've been catching up on a lot of the videos that you guys put out. I apologize, I try to get uh, a lot of your videos and uh, sometimes it takes a while. I was looking at uh, Joe from Queens and he hasn't uploaded one in about four months or five months. I hope you're all right, Joe. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing another one, Briarwood 138 is it? Looking for, if you haven't seen his, I'll put his name right here, he really does some good videos. Uh, take a look, but he hasn't done one in a while, so I hope everything's okay out there in Queens. I know you're getting rain. Man, this stuff is slick. You can see, it's like gel. And this Atra, you know, they came in the plastic ones and they, uh, the, the similar to the Vector, but man, I like this old aluminum handle. And I've got that, I think it's Reed and Barton silver plated one too. I think that was from 1980 maybe, but this one's definitely 77. I was, uh, well, this time of year, at the end of 77, I was, uh, gonna be a sophomore, ending my sophomore year. I graduated in 79, is that right? Uh, 77 to 7. No, I was, uh, starting a junior. So, uh, wow. Time flies. Class of 79. Someone asked me once, hey man, what's that ring you wear? And that's, uh, Marina High School, class of 79 ring and even though i went to long beach state college they said well you know why did you uh why are you wearing your high school ring well let me tell you i i started i started school in england and in england they started you at about four years old so when i got out here and uh, i was in high school uh, well first of all when i started high school my folks both worked i was one of those latchkey kids who had to come home Empty house, not get into any trouble. Ah, never got in any trouble. No BB guns or fireworks or none of that stuff. But uh, every summer in summer school, my mother made me go to summer school and at high school, even as a freshman entering. So I took two or three classes. So 
at the end of the junior year, they said, hey, you know, you have enough to graduate. You only need U.S. government. Uh, you knew we can get you out. And I said, no, I don't want to. I want to graduate with my friends. So my high school year, the whole year, I had U.S. government. I had auto shop, hot metals. So I, I learned how to weld, braze, arc weld, gas weld. I had a wood shop. I had, like I said, auto shop. We rebuilt a Ford motor. I had electronics. I wanted to be an electronic engineer. Uh, ended up being a civil engineer, but uh, I took, uh, I mean, it was all shop classes. It was the most fun a person could have in school for one year. And uh, what a blast. Oh, so when people say, why do I wear a high school ring and not a college ring? Because I tell you, college kind of sucks. Uh, those classes you got to take kind of suck. And I did not have as much fun as I did that year in Marina High School. My daughter and son both went there too. My brother, my sister. I live right close to it. So it's always a good memory. I don't know if you guys have good memory of high school, but I certainly have better than I did at Long Beach State and Golden West College. All right. Some Nivea. No burn at all, you know, it's very soothing. But if you notice, no cuts at all. And if I was using a razor and a blade all the time on a DE razor, uh, I wouldn't be cutting myself because I'd be using the same one quite often. Maybe I'd change up the blades now and then, or maybe the razor, but I wouldn't be doing you know, 50 different razors and same number of blades, that's for sure. Now, this is a cologne, or an, is it Uday Toilet? So that's a lot stronger than a, an aftershave. So she will burn. And she does burn. Ooh. I, yeah, it was funny. I told you I was watching Lethal Weapon 2, and they have, uh, you guys got it, Hero, the aftershave uh, by Prince Machiavelli, made in 88, 89. Then they discontinued it. And I looked to buy some, and I found, of course, you know, you can go on eBay, you can find vintage, vintage cologne, vintage aftershave. I wanted to try the aftershave. Do you know they, they just like Old Spice and just like Brute, someone re-released it. Uh, and I read the review on Amazon and it said, I've been buying the Hero uh, for many years because uh, of all the luck I had with the girls back in the day, he says. And uh, then he says, and I got the new batch and it did not smell the same. And he goes, so I returned it to Amazon for my money back. He goes, it smelled close, but not exact. So now he says he has to raid the shelves of eBay to find the original. So I actually bought two. I bought the original and I bought the new Hero, Prince Machiavelli. And I think the new one's by Sports Fragrance, I think it is. And the new one's reasonably priced. It's probably close, but man, I'm going to do a comparison of both of those because I've done a comparison of Brute and I've done a comparison of uh, Old Spice. I want to see how this compares. So, ah oh man, the stuff that uh, you end up getting into if you're into shaving and you're watching shows and you see products and ah, it's a never ending, uh, a never ending hobby, right? All right. Well, great night uh, to all of you. I hope you have a fun Friday. I get to go see Jumanji with my wife tonight. I've already seen it with my son and you know, I'm not usually into comedy action movies like that, but uh, that was really good, I got to admit. Along the lines of Guardians of the Galaxy 2, kind of a fun movie. Uh, I was very, very surprised. Uh, I'm waiting for some good action movies to come out again. And uh, The Darkest Hour, uh, Winston Churchill movie's out. But I can't get my wife to go to that. I have to go to see that with my brother. So you guys have a great weekend, and maybe I'll get one more out before the new year. Until next time, it's Ken Surf saying have a great night.